How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay. What do you have no idea about? I forget. I, I forget what we were doing here. Anyway. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh. No, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No. Nothing. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright. If you say so. Anyway. Why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book. Then slip it back into my bag. Okay. Alright, who are we... Who first? Let's go, Natsuki. I should probably point out, the reason the skip thing is accessible is due to the fact that... This is take two of this. Luckily, everything that's seen here, I've seen before anyway. Regardless, it still creeps me. That's why I got ghost juice! No? Actually, I just got this because I'm thirsty and I'm out of water, so... It's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Hey! I'm not good at poetry, okay? That's a bold-faced lie, but you know. Don't judge me. And again... If this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really diff- Wait, hold on, whoa, hold on. I thought in the previous episode I wrote a poem for you. Not for Yuri. So what the hell? I mean... Yeah, I already wrote, read that. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Uh -oh. Um, still, you should at least look over my poem. I'll probably be able to learn something from it. I mean, you can give it a shot. Uh, not Natsuki? Are, are, are you sure this is not some cipher homework for a different class and not your poem? I have no idea what this says. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Pink Fox, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like hearing more? No. I think you're better off not associating with her. I'm honestly thinking I'm better off not associating with any of you. Are you listening to me? I don't like this. More ghost juice. You 
you guys can hear that. <laughs> right? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Pink Fox. Do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Just saw it. Cool, we're good. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I've got mixed feelings about the last thing, so I'd consider that maybe bad. Emphasis on the maybe, though. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. I might be going too deep into this. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. I repeat myself. I wouldn't count on that. Want to share what you wrote for today? Uh, sure. Here, take it. Throw it away. Burn it in a fire. Send it to hell. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, Pink Fox. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. But it's a good way to grab your audience's attention. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Yeah, we've been over this before. Okay, I've read that before. I've read that. And I mean prior to the accident, the, the failed recording. Sometimes I get the impression she's totally given up on people. I don't think that wasn't the original one. She spent so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. That's an understatement. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time. So I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, 
you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Did I? Oh, no. I was going to say, did I already read this? Then I realized, no. Nope. I skipped it in the failed recording, so now I'm realizing that was a bad idea. Because they won't write. They won't write. Ah, oh, jeez. Where letters are removed. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding. Piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Dark? Although it does sound the same. The noise, it won't stop. Vi violent grating wave berms, I think? I don't remember. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sign? Cosine tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Why are knife and breathing rib cage all caps? Funny. Stop. Sine, cosine, tangent. Knife and breathing rib cage are the words that are all caps. Why? Endless? Something of meaningless save me, right? No. What? Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself... Okay, I've read this before. Don't forget to save your game. You never know when... Um, who am I talking to? That Okay, this is the same. Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? That's partially different. Please save me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to? Well, we only got Yuri left. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Uh... Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Weird. Uh, uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Are you okay, Yuri? I was going to say, where's the music going? <laughs> that came out a little awkward. No kidding. L let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Excuse me? This is a bit lengthy. All right, here we go. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding bottle head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning a prayer written in bottle, blood, prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God. Uh, what? Whatever. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. 
40 gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears. And open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. This is not a poem! I mean, it's not even one of those kind of poems that are just symbolic and not rhyming. It has no lyricals. It's literally just, well, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it is a poem, but if it was, it was very choppily written. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately. Yeah, I can tell. So I had to take it out on your pet. What? Uh, that is a, 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 a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday. So I took it home for safekeeping, and I was wondering where that thing went. You broke it? That was my favorite pen! I've been using this stupid thing since. Freaking mechanical pencil that nobody likes. I, um, uh, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. What did I just... I don't know. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Sure. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. Can you hear me? Hello? Is anybody there? Can you hear me? <laughs> no! Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone can come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well... Sort of. Ugh! Do we really have to do something for the festival? Jeez, Natsuki. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. I mean, it's not bad to look at worst case scenario, Natsuki, but... Aren't you being a little melodramatic? That's a concern of mine as well. Oh. Okay, maybe not. I don't know, it feels a bit overthought, but... And I mean the planning, but at the same time, I think the outcome is being overthought too. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Fair. That's fair. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Pink Fox joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. That is enough to make a club, Monica. Isn't that satisfactory enough? And the festival's our only real chance to find more, you know? Okay. Utter bullshit on that one, Monica. What's so great about getting new members anyway? Hey! We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Actually, she has a fair point there. <laughs> Natsuki? I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? 
The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. Can I veto this statement? I never said that. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Pink Fox? What did I literally just say? I'm indifferent on this, Monica. I'm gonna lean back. I'm gonna lean back and just stay over here. Uh, I'm indecisive on this front. All y'all can decide. Oh, come on! <laughs> um, Natsuki, what did I just say? can't take advantage of Pink Fox to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to any- What? What did I literally just say, Natsuki? Being indecisive is basically saying no in this very kindly way. Why did the music stop? Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Pink Fox joined. That's bull. Then again, the side stories are uncanon, so I don't know. It might be true. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Pink Fox isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. Our character never exactly does show passion for that, so that's fair. That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Oof. I mean, she's not wrong, but oof. <laughs> Monica is clearly taken aback by Nazi's words. Gee, I wonder why. Let's true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Pink Fox wanted to get to more members too. Right? I mean, I'm sure it'd be fun in the long haul, but I'm very indecisive about it right now. Yeah. Saw that coming. Not because I've read it. I saw it coming before I read it too. Reiterate, this is take two, and yes, I already read that. If the word skip is darkened, I've already read it. Put it simply. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no, Natsuki's right. Isn't she? This club, it's something more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I as I did? <sighs> but that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Oh, that's me. Now I'm a sassy teenage girl, apparently. That, no, because a sassy teenage girl talks like this in this story. Apparently. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Pink Fox, why did you even join the club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. Dang. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime, to be honest? It's not about being honest. 
It's about word choice. Yeah. She probably could have worded that better where it wouldn't have hurt Monica at all. She could have literally just said, I'm not comfortable with doing it. Is it okay if I stay out of it? Problem solved. <sighs> then again, we're talking about a girl who writes extremely cutesy poems, so... Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking... There we go. That proves that I'm the stereotypical teenage girl in this game's case, I guess. Anyway, no, I am not. She's not taking anything away. No, Pink Fox. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. I mean, it's a club. What should you... Club. Look at the word club and expect a lot of people, not nothing. I don't know. No scares are coming. Maybe drinking ghost juice will help. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Great. Everything's depressing now. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, you have an opinion on the festival? I, 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 I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. Um, would you like to run the by, uh, uh, Would you like to run that by me again? And I'm just happy with you here, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Ah! Uh, Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Ah! Uh, You know when I said you want to run by that by me again? I didn't mean I didn't expect a yes and a close up. Back. And now her eye is bleeding. Fan diddly tastic. Street factor just went well, I mean it's definitely the ghost juice. I have no doubts it's the ghost juice. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Pink Fox? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I mean, if I were to go answer honestly with the original answer, the original answer for the character would have been girls. For s just seeing cute girls attracted my character to the club. Why? I don't know. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Not based off what you just said a moment ago in close-up freak mode. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members... Why is your eye bleeding? Why is your eye, in this portion, bleeding? The identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while 
So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Okay. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay. Ah. Uh. You too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Pink Fox? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Pink Fox before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Pink Fox, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. Why is the background vanishing? Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm noticing it. It's going darker and darker. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that, as president. And I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. Why did the music stop? And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean. No! But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Monica, you're sentient, aren't you? That, that, in case you can't tell by now, that line should have given it away. Monica knows all. And trusting her is a bad idea. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. Wait, no, 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 stop it! Okay. Palm time. I feel like it really doesn't matter what I do, so I'm just going to do this. Was Monica just bouncing from the bottom underneath the screen? Hi, Pink Thoughts! I've been waiting for you. Ah, oh, jeez. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica? What the heck? I told you not to... Ugh. Can you really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. The hell did she do? Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Really, Yuri? That was not necessary. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. I know this is something worth doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. 
And let me guess, a girl? I guess another girl would be nice this time. Call it. So... Notsuki. Nobody cares. Excuse me? Can I skip this? I don't want to read this. Ugh. No. No, I don't. Nope. You read it. Are you done? How about now? Ugh, fine. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? The last one here again. Will you practice in piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. This is the same as before. Well, maybe not determination. But I is was this in there before? I think it was actually. Passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Pink Fox, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Huh. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Pink Fox is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. I mean, yeah, I guess, but no. I can do multiple things at... What the hell, that insane face. Stop it! Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I... I, I suppose... I was just... <sighs> Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! <laughs> um... Thank you for understanding, Monica. Monica, what are you devising in your mind? Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make me my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not so much for yourself, of course. I would have said of course rather than as well. That's why I re 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 replaced the two words. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. <laughs> really? I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. So she staggers around? Especially because of her long legs. Yeah, she staggers around probably. I have pretty long legs for myself and I do that a lot. Yuri appears, Yuri appears elegant and meth methodical. Are you sure about that? Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That, that, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling out the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Monica! I might have been wrong! Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here. So I decided to go looking. 
for her. Why did the music dim? Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <gasps> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? I mean, I already knew from Act 1 that she did this based off her actions, but... Okay, it's rewinding. Good. You know what? That did not creep me out. That's That was preferable, actually. That's why it worked without the ghost juice. Let's take more. I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. Big Fox, do you like oolong tea? I've actually never had it, IRL. Neither do I ever plan on it, because tea isn't really my... No pun intended, but my cup of tea. It, I, I don't know. I if, if I were to choose a drink of preference, this is just something I had on hand at the moment, and it worked well with what was going on. But if I were to prefer, if I were to have a drink of preference, it probably would be everyone who's been on the channel long and have already knows this, but Dr. Pepper. Maybe Mountain Dew at times. It's always one of those two. Oh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any the less when I'm making tea for others. Actually, that's a very professional way of looking at it. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, and perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. By the way, where would Natsuki go? You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed? I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. But it's you who's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. In fact, you probably push yourself over the brink edge to where all these glitches and things are driving me nuts, so I'm leaving this here. We'll probably come to the conclusion of Act 2 next time, plus I'm pretty sure there are probably, after all those glitches, I guarantee you there's mail. In fact... I'm so, that that I'm so I, I'm almost positive it to a point where I'm gonna do this. It's been a while since I've done a snap transition, so there you go. Yeah, there's mail. That's what I thought. Pictures I'm assuming are just wait, what the hell? This is new. Finish the poem game in twenty seconds or less. Really? That's not hard to do. Okay, so there's this wheel thing. This. Wait. Have I read this? My conductor motions for one cushion. I think I ha I don't know. I may have already read it and I'm just losing my mind. Secrets. Can you hear me? Right, three of these are special poems, other ones are going to be something else. Goody! Ah, Natsuki. Simple character sheet of Natsuki's initial design. Which looks a little bit different from her end result, but not by much. Drawn by David Evelyn. Alrighty. What 
what's in the mail. We'll check the mail and end the episode after that. I've I've Laster. Okay, who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? <laughs> I think it's hilarious, but for God's sake, don't tell Paula. <laughs> it would get 404 in a microsecond. Are you just relaying her tweets manually? Or did you code some kind of pass-through layer to automate it? Based on the contents of the tweets, e.g. not screaming for help, I assume they're coming from the control simulation. Huh? Wait. I mean... What? So, under certain circumstances, Monica is begging to be released. Ah. Uh, and I'm reading these, and I know they're not in chronological order that I'm reading them in, but I'll figure that out later once we finish the story. Or right before we finish it. Anyways... Gonna leave this episode of DDLC here. We will continue on. Is this gonna say something special of the normal thing? PM died for this. Who the hell is PM? We will continue from here next time. Right now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Plus. I'm speaking too fast. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a visual novel or a horror game or both, if there is another one. Let us know in the comments below. If you want to check out one visual novel that we've done prior to this, click the link in the bottom right corner and try and take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this, I think at this point, 32 stop ride so far. Click the link across my head here, and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!